Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Today we're working with our pals from BMI, Jose here. He showed on an earlier video how to use this uh, D30 here. And he showed how to assemble it, take it apart, um, set it all up. Today he's going to show actually how to use it and how to mix it. And trust me guys, I've had a few mixers similar to this. This is extremely simple for what we're doing uh, for, for mixers in general. And we're doing a deck here. This, there's 10,000 feet of deck on a lot of levels here. Three different contractors besides myself all recommended BMI 690 for this particular project. So I called my pals over at BMI, Ruri Bronze in particular, and again, Ruri Bronze, uh, Jerry Pozo, Tom, and as well as Jose here. These guys are excellent. They're just like the same by Lucille Ball, the actress, if you want something done call the busiest people you know and every time I call these guys man they're on it with silos these machines everything so we're gonna we're gonna get started but before we get started obviously Jose is going to show us how to mix this and it's a little bit different from all the pumps we've owned because it's a lot simpler so Jose it's all yours brother go ahead and explain all right this. first of all before we actually start dropping product in here we're gonna do checking the two important things water pressure and power as you can probably hear, there's a generator in the background. That's our power, so we know we're good at power. As long as you have your 220, 30 amp, which usually most job sites uh, have, you should be fine. Water pressure, water is also another thing. Usually all job sites have water, and like I said before, you need 35 to 40 PSI minimum to get the proper mix that you need. Now, first of all, I'm gonna start dropping dry product into this mixer to actually get it ready to start mixing. So that's the most important thing. Keeping this hopper, like I said earlier, full with product at all times, your mix should never change. As long as your water pressure stays consistent, you should be having that same mud come out at all times. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go right behind this machine here and start grabbing our 90 pound 690 bags. This is our 690 with fibers. And there are 90 pound bags. So they're a little heavy. So what you really want to do is drop the bag just like so, kind of push it down because as you can see these teeth here are what's going to tear into the bag. And usually to open it up, you just pull one side and the teeth are going to do the work for you. Flip the bag on one side that way and do the same to the other. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this hopper up by dumping about three to four more bags into there. I want to get this hopper full so we can get that first batch of mix ready to, to drop into that wheelbarrow. So you're gonna get a little bit of dust, so I, I would ask it's probably best if you could use a dust mask, that way you don't inhale too, many, too much of the cement dust. And you try to empty up the bag, then just dump it off to the side, grab your next bag, and do the same thing. Okay, so we got about three bags in there. So we're pretty much ready to start going here. I checked earlier on our pressure gauge. And I got water pressure, so that's an important thing. If the water's cut off, you won't know it until it comes out. So it's important to make sure you got pressure here on this gauge. And right here, I'm seeing that I got about 41 PSI, which is good pressure, so we should be good to go. So now that I know I've got water, I know I have power because of the generator in the background, the noise, and I got my hopper fill. So all I need to do now is get this thing to start going. And to start it, you see this little push button on top is the green and on the bottom is the red. So to start it, I'm just going to push the, red, the green. 
And what I want to do here, I want to fill that wheelbarrow about a quarter because I got to let that mix to fill itself. So right when it gets to about a quarter of, of full, you'll see where the consistency is at. So it doesn't take much to, you know, get it going. That material is pretty pliable. They're running it by hand, so what I'm gonna do is increase the water a little bit because you don't want to let this uh, product sit too long because it does set pretty quick. So since they're working by hand, I'm gonna increase the water a little bit and I'm only gonna go about a quarter turn to the left and give it about 10 seconds. And there you see the change in it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it because the hopper is getting low, but there you go. That's all it takes to get the first batch of mud going. Full hopper, enough water pressure, and your power, of course. That's pretty cool, man. A uh, lot simpler than my other pumps. I'll tell you guys, what we're doing here is 10,000 feet of deck, and it's a lot of this stuff right here. This particular material, you put it on once, maybe twice, but you don't want to over trial it and it hangs like whipping cream. That's why so many different people recommended this product besides myself and even Andy Davis. He said, hey, let's go with the 690 for this particular job. Great to work with. We'll actually show you how to how we do that in another video. Well, Zach, should appreciate you showing all the people this because I would have screwed it up. Okay, guys. We're complete with this project. I just want to point out this BMI machine rules, man, it rocks. We saved a lot of time today. Uh, I'm simply amazed. Take it from five contractors who have more than about 150 years combined that this machine is... 150 years? Oh, no, he got 150 all by himself. Yeah, this man right here. <laughs> hey, he's, he's 62, but I'll tell you, doing what we do keeps you in great shape. Anyway, yeah. guys, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plaster. We thank you fellas and ladies for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.